If you're running a business or a self-employed, having a good business credit card can be really useful. And getting a business credit card with American Express is not necessarily that difficult. Amex is generally considered to be relatively flexible when applying for one of their business credit cards. If you're working as an Uber driver, selling products on Etsy, Amazon or eBay, or even just a freelancer, this should be sufficient to apply as a sole proprietor. There are also a few benefits that come with owning a business credit card. First of all, you'll be able to get past the Amex once per lifetime rule. So if you already own a personal credit card with Amex, you will be able to collect the sign up bonus with one of their business credit cards as well, assuming you have not held one in the past. Also, keeping your expenses separate to your personal spending will be a lot easier and save you time when it comes to doing your taxes. Now, if you do run a larger business, it is possible to get up to 99 employee cards on your account with either of the cards in this review. Hi, my name's Daniel and in this review, I'm going to compare both the Amex Business Gold and Platinum card. Basically, I'll talk about all of the related costs of owning each card and what benefits and user perks you can expect to receive. So if you find this video interesting and it helps you out, please hit the like button as it really does help my channel grow and get discovered by more people. Okay, so let's jump into it. So who are these business credit cards good for? If you run a business that has employees or you are a sole proprietor, either of these business cards from Amex can be beneficial to you. Having the ability to keep your expenses separate from your personal spending is really helpful, especially when it comes to doing your taxes, as it will forego the need of sorting through hundreds, if not thousands of transactions that you've made over the course of a year. Also, you will be able to simply export all of your transaction history to QuickBooks, which is a nice benefit to have. Now, for the APR with both of these cards, the Platinum Business Card does actually have an advantage over the Gold Business Card, as it is offering a 0% intro APR for the first 12 months months of card ownership. After the 12 month period is up, the APR for purchases will revert to between 15.74% and 23.74%. And the Amex Business Gold Card will have the same rate but will not have the intro APR offer. Both cards have the same penalty APR of 29.99% which will come into effect if there is a payment that is returned by your bank. You don't make a minimum payment by the due date or you make two or more late payments within a 12 month period. A late payment can incur a fee of up to $39 or 2.99%, whichever amount is more. And a payment that is returned by your bank or missing a minimum payment will incur a $39 fee. Now, when it comes to the annual fee, the Business Platinum card is more than twice the price of the Business Gold card. And this can definitely make a difference in which card you ultimately choose, especially if you need to stick to a tight budget. And currently the Amex Business Gold card costs $295 each year. For the Amex Business Platinum card, it will cost $695, which is quite a lot more than the Gold card. Now, when it comes to the sign-up bonus that each card offers, there is a fair bit of difference in value. As you would expect due to the large price difference between each card. Also, you can potentially earn a higher sign-up bonus with each card by either using a few different web browsers or reopening the same specific business credit card page that you want over the course of a couple of days, as your cookies should be saved on your computer, which means that Amex knows that you have been considering one of the cards and will most likely offer you a sweeter deal. So with the Amex Business Gold Card, if you can spend $10,000 within the first three months of card ownership, it is possible to earn 70,000 to 80,000 membership reward points. And if we're deemed on the highest possible reward rates, this sign-up bonus is worth up to $700 or $800. Now with the Amex Business Platinum Card, if you are able to spend $15,000 within the first three months of opening the account, it is possible to earn between $120,000 and $150,000 membership reward points. And this is worth up to $1,200 or $1,500 if redeemed on the highest reward rate. So one way to look at the sign-up bonus with each card is that if you do manage to spend the required amount to receive the bonus, it will actually cover the cost of the annual fee for both cards for the first two years if you get the highest sign-up bonus offer. Now, having a credit card that can earn you a reasonable amount of points is really important, as it can make up a large part of where you get most of the value from a credit card. And as you will see, both of these cards do vary in where you can earn points from and how much you can actually earn. So take note of where each of these cards offers the most points earning potential, and if it makes Makes sense for you and your business. So starting first with the Amex Business Gold Card, the highest points earning offered is four times points on up to $150,000 combined spending each year on the top two categories that your business spends on each billing cycle. And this will be determined by Amex. Basically, they will take your two highest categories of total spend and provide the appropriate points to your account. And the list of approved categories are airfares purchased directly from the airline, purchases from US advertising in select media, which includes online, 
phone, TV and radio. Purchases that are made directly from a few select technology providers of computer hardware, software and cloud companies. Purchases at US gas stations. Purchases at US restaurants that include takeout and delivery. US purchases for shipping. And then finally, all other purchases will earn one point per dollar spent. Now, when using membership reward points to book flights through American Express Travel, it is possible to get 25% of the points back, as long as the booking is made with one of the qualifying airlines listed on their website. Also, this is limited to a total of 250,000 points back each calendar year. Next up, with the Amex Business Platinum Card, it is possible to get even more points earning potential than the Gold Card. So the top points earning offered with this card is five times points on flights and prepaid hotels that are booked through AmexTravel.com. Then from here, it is possible to earn 1.5 times points on business purchases that include the following categories. Electronic goods retailers, software and cloud system providers, US construction material and hardware suppliers, and shipping providers. Now, along with this, it is also possible to earn 1.5 times points on any purchases that are $5,000 or more. And the maximum spend amount each year for the 1.5 times points is $2 million. Finally, all other purchases will receive one point per dollar spent. Now, similar to the Amex Business Gold Card, there is the possibility to receive up to 35% membership reward points back when using the pay with points feature in American Express Travel. And this is limited to a total of 1 million bonus points back each calendar year. So when it comes to the benefits and perks that each card offers, you will see that the Amex Business Platinum card has a lot more options than the Amex Business Gold card, which makes sense as you are paying an extra $400 each year just for the annual fee. But it's worth thinking about which of the benefits that come with each of these cards will actually be useful for you and your business. It's not uncommon for some credit cards to offer a whole range of different perks that don't really make sense for some users. So the first and only benefit that comes with the Amex Business Gold Card is access to the hotel collection. And this provides a $100 experience credit that can be used on either dining, spa or resort activities. And to receive the benefit, you must book a minimum of two consecutive nights at a participating hotel through American Express Travel. Now, with the Amex Business Platinum Card, there are a whole host of different benefits that are available to you. And starting with the business related benefits, there are a few. You will receive up to $400 in statement credits each year from purchases made at Dell Technologies. When spending through Indeed to find new employees, it is possible to earn up to $360 back in statement credits each year. Purchases made from Adobe with the Amex Business Platinum Card will receive up to $150 back in statement credits each year. And then finally, it is possible to receive up to $120 in statement credits for wireless telephone service purchases. Then in terms of the more personal benefits that you can receive with the card, one that I really like is access to the Global Lounge Collection. This basically gives you access to a large range of different airport lounges from all over the world and include the Centurion Lounge, Delta Sky Club when flying on a Delta flight, Plaza Premium and select Lufthansa lounges when flying Lufthansa. Along with this, there is also a free Priority Pass Select membership that is worth $429 each year and provides access to over 1,300 airport lounges worldwide. Then with the Cruise Privileges Program, it is possible to get a credit of up to $300. There is a $200 airline fee credit, a $189 clear credit, a $100 credit for either Global Entry or TSA PreCheck, and a $100 credit for bookings that are made through the Fine Hotels and Resorts Program or the Hotel Collection Program. And finally, there is Marriott Bonvoy Gold Elite status and Hilton Honors Gold status. Now, for the last part of this review, I'll just go over all of the insurance-related coverage that comes with with these two cards. And most of the coverage is the same with each of these cards, with a few little differences which I'll point out. So both cards come with car rental loss and damage insurance, which is secondary coverage, and covers up to $50,000 for the Amex Business Gold Card and up to $75,000 for the Amex Business Platinum Card. There is a baggage insurance plan, and with the Amex Business Gold Card, this covers up to $500 for checked-in baggage and $1,250 for carry-on baggage. Whereas with the Amex Business Platinum Card, the coverage is up to $2,000 for checked-in baggage and $3,000 for carry-on baggage. With trip delay insurance, the Amex Business Gold Card offers up to $300 per covered trip if it is delayed for more than 12 hours, with two claims allowed in a 12-month period. And the Amex Business Platinum Card offers up to $500 per trip if the trip is delayed for just six hours again with a maximum of two claims allowed in a 12 month period. Extended warranty is the same with both cards and offers one additional year of warranty on original manufacturer's warranties that are five years or less and coverages for up to $10,000 per covered purchase and $50,000 per eligible card. And with purchase protection, the Amex Business Gold Card provides 90 days of coverage, which covers up to $1,000 per covered purchase and up to $50,000 per card per year. 
The Amex Business Platinum card offers the same 90 days of coverage, but covers up to $10,000 per covered purchase and the same $50,000 per card per 12 month period. Then from here, just the Platinum card offers the following coverage. Trip cancellation interruption insurance, which covers up to $10,000 per covered trip and $20,000 per card per 12 month period. And then finally, cell phone protection of up to $800 per claim with two claims allowed in a 12 month period, with each claim incurring a $50 deductible fee. So at the end of the day, I think both of these credit cards from Amex offer some great value with their sign up bonuses and points earning potential. When it comes to choosing one of the cards, it really comes down to whether you will use all of the benefits that is offered with each card. If you don't travel much and you know you won't make use of the business credits that are offered with the business platinum card, then the business gold card would make the most sense for you and still provide you with some decent benefits and perks. However, if you are making a reasonable amount of money from your business, travel a lot and know you will use most of the benefits that are on offer with the platinum card, it is a fantastic choice. Now, if you're interested in three of the best personal credit cards available now, why not check out this video here where I review and compare the Capital One Venture X card, the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, and the Amex Platinum card.